I'm Barbara. And I'm Kelsey. And today we're drinking beers from Iceland. A few fun facts about Iceland. Um, it was settled by Norwegian Vikings in 874 AD. It has one of the world's first parliament. They have a naming committee, which means that they can, this committee approves and declines names when a child is born. Today, beer in Iceland is one of the most popular beverages, and they actually have an unofficial holiday called Beer Day, which is in a couple of days on March 1st. Today we're drinking beers from Iceland. All the beers we're drinking today are from Gajinger Brewery in Skagafdador, Iceland. The IBUs were not listed for any of these beers, so we're just gonna skip over that part. But the first beer of the day is the Pale Rider, which is a pale ale. This has a 4.5% alcohol by volume and 2,885 check-ins on untapped. It has a 3.37 rating. The flavor profile is hoppy, light, floral, dry, and fruity. That's a good color for a pale ale. Yeah, it's a little darker than I was expecting. Ooh, it smells really like... It smells hoppy. It does, and flowery, like floral. Yeah. Stirring a pale ale. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's a really light-bodied beer. Ooh. It's got like a weird aftertaste. I don't know, I'm kind of about it. It's like, the, like bitter aftertaste. The best way I can describe the aftertaste is like an umami kind of taste. Like it's not bitter necessarily. It's more like of a savory kind of. I get what you're saying, but yeah, it it hits you though. It's earthy. <laughs> it's a dirt-ish. It's a lot of an aftertaste. It the is. The beer itself, like the, the first it's really flavor light. you get hit with is fine mm -hmm. and it's good, but that aftertaste is not nice. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of like the experience of the beer is after, like you, after you drink it. Yeah. Like all the like fun of the beer, if you will, comes after. You I think, think so. Yeah, because I, I feel like it's ruined. No, because like, I feel like <laughs> what we taste is what you're smelling. I don't know. I that aftertaste is just I do not like it. It's kind of like destroying the experience for me a little bit. Really? I don't like. It's it. that like too much. I think so. It's, it's really earthy, like you said. It's really... It is. It's too much. Huh. It's too much of, like, not a beer taste. It's not pleasant. It's not nice. I I'm not getting like that at all. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Oh, I really, it I really like it. It smells nicer than it tastes. See, so I feel like you're getting... Like, what you smell is what you're going to taste. Like, you're getting, like, the whole effect. But it's, like, after, like, the mouth effect, if you will. You know what I mean? Like, you have to drink it first. And then, like, everything else comes after. I mean, I get it. I think you're saying like when you taste it, there's not a lot of flavor to it. A lot of it is coming in the aftertaste and yes. like when you breathe out, there's different smells and tastes that you're getting. Yes, exactly. But you don't like that? I don't care for that. I, the, well, the don't the care for the smells, after effect. The taste and smells that I'm getting are not good. Uh, I, I prefer like the lack of flavor in the beer itself. <laughs> I like it. What do you get? I gave it a two. <laughs> oh, I could have swore I heard like uh, something else before the O. I didn't hear the two guys. I gave it a three. Yeah, so not great. Good, not great. <laughs> I think it's average for me. I really like, I don't I like it. I think it's an okay beer. I don't know, as pale ales go, it's not the first one that I would look for at all. Yeah, no, same, but considering, I think it's good. Our second beer of the day is the Micro Zwickel Lager, which is a German style beer. This is a 4.5% alcohol by volume with 179 check-ins on untapped and a 3.01 rating. This has a light, hoppy, malty, bitter, and sweet flavor profile. Yay. Would make so. sense since it's a German style lager. German. <laughs> Sounds Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Hefeweizen kind of almost. Oh no, it's very light. Dang. Oh no, no. It's yeah, dank. It's... You can smell the moisture in the glass. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Like it's humid in there. <laughs> like that's the best way I can like <laughs> my experience of this glass is that. It's it's very lager. Through the nose. It definitely tastes. It definitely smells like a lager. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's try. Oh, let's try. Oh, it's a lager. It's a light lager. It's a very light lager. But it's definitely a lager. Like the body's taste. light. The taste is light. But it's still like pungent, kind mm -hmm. of. It it's kind of reminiscent of our like Oktoberfest video. Yeah, I'm I'm getting a lot of that same flavor profile for yep. sure. The malty kind of. All, kind of spicy, but it's not as like spiced as yeah, I don't taste fest. a lot of spice. It doesn't taste like they added a lot to it. it no, is, it's just very basic lager. Yep, so, it's good. Decent. I like it. Yeah. What do you give it? I gave it a two seven five. Oh, I gave it a three five. Oh wow. I, I really like it. lagers. I think it's a very basic lager. Like I like yes. lagers, but it's really, it's just 
standard. It's not, there, I don't think there's anything special about this particular lager. But I think that's why I rated it so high because I can just like chill and just have a, a drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's not gonna be like, I'm on like an adventure of flavors. It's just kind of like, yeah. Lager. I can chill Standard. with it. I like it. It's good. What recommend? Our third beer from Iceland is the Jinger Vetbjör, which is a Hefeweizen style. This is a 5.2% alcohol by volume with 1,114 check-ins. It has a 3.28 rating. The flavor profile is banana, sweet, sour, fruity, and light. Ah, uh, banana on the back swing. Banana on the back Hashtag. swing. <laughs> back to our Hefeweizen day. Throw oh, it you back. smell it. <laughs> it smells like our very first video. It really does. <laughs> Oh man. Don't forget the banana. Oh yeah, that's a lot of banana. That's a good it's like, white though. It's like all we have is bananas. Let's brew some beer though. <laughs> that's good though. It's a very light beer. It's very light. It's very light. It's very heavy on the banana. It is. But it's it's like minorly hoppy in the smell though. Yes. But you don't but get you any like, of that in the taste. I feel like maybe a little bit on the aftertaste like the slightest bit on the aftertaste. You get a little bit of hop. I wouldn't even call it a hop. It's like a little like tiny like joke. It's like a huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's good. It's a good half of Weizen. It is a good half. So, a Weizen. I mean, Other, it says white though. So is it a white beer or a half of Weizen? So it was listed as a half of Weizen on untapped. Oh, have. And also their website, I'm trying to remember, I looked this morning. It was also, it might've been a white beer on, the, on there. A white beer? Well, so, I wonder, well, because it's not a Belgian white, yeah. the Belgian whites are very like coriander forward. It's not Belgium, so that would make a lot of sense. All right, what'd you give it? I gave it a 2.75. I gave it a 2.5. Oh, word, okay. So we're both kind of like, ah, but it's like, it's like, all right. <laughs> it's all right. But we also prefer the heavier style. Of yeah, too, for sure. And it is a lot of banana. It is, not to say that it's like a terrible beer. It's like, no, not, not at all, but it's um, just very. Good. It's not our style. Yeah. And that's what we want to like. And I think I liked the lager better. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I feel like that shows in our rating a little bit, but like, yeah. because the lager was a heavier body. A little bit, yeah. This one was like really like light bodied. And it's like fruity, it's not citrusy. And I think that's. Yeah, I would rather that's have where a the line is crossed for us. It needs a little bit of citrus or it needs a little bit of hops. Someone to the cut other. the sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Our fourth beer from Iceland is the Tumi Hummel IPA, which is an American style IPA. This has a 6.5% alcohol by volume out of 3,641 check-ins. It has a 3.61 rating on untap, and it is a hoppy, bitter, floral, light, and sweet flavor profile. Nice. The floral scares me a little bit. I don't. I don't know. I trust anything. Oh out no, of purple no. Can. I smell hops more than anything. I, I trust anything. I out get of a little can. bit of floral, but I definitely smell more hops. I smell citrus. Yep, you definitely get some citrus notes in there too. I'm excited. Sweet. I'm like salivating. Like. I'm so, I'm excited to drink an IPA. I, I know, really right? It, it tastes really citrusy. It tastes citrusy, but it tastes clean. Mm, like a hoppy, citrusy, clean balance. Yes. That's really nice. Yeah, it's definitely got a really good balance to it for the IPA. Like the hops aren't too much. The citrus isn't too much. Yeah, it's, like, it's not intimidating or aggressive. No, it's really good. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's not really like an orangey citrus, and it's not really a grapefruit, but it's like, it's just citrus, like plain citrus. Yeah, I wonder if that's the hops though. It might be, it could be. It has like that sweet acidic taste. Yeah. <laughs> that citrus is. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that one. I like this one. Oh yeah. A lot. A whole bunch. All right, what'd you rate it? 4 -oh. 375. Hey, nice. That pretty much sums that one up. Yeah. Like, it's a really sure. good IPA. It is. It's very solid. It's uh, balanced very well. Yeah, it's not overly aggressive in any aspect at all. I like that the floral and like the citrus really like complement each other. And then like that hop just really brings out that IPA like essence. Presence, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know you're drinking an IPA. For sure. Yes, and but it's not heavy, and that's what I really appreciate. Like, there's yeah. no like sediment. There's no like it's just really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Like, wow. I was not. I'm a little it. surprised you didn't rate it higher. No, I was. I was in between a three, five, and a four. I almost went three, seven, five, and I was like, no, like a four. Like expresses how I feel about this. Yeah, because it's really good. Yeah. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. I, I like it a lot.
So today we drank beers from Iceland. Our fourth place beer was the Pale Ale. Our third place beer was the Hefeweizen style. Our second place beer was the German style. And our first place beer was the American IPA. Yay! Not surprising. No. IPA tends to be our style. And then we do prefer the German lagers. No. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. The, the white slash Hefeweizen and the Pale Ale are always kind of really close for us, I feel. Yeah, but they're also hit and miss. Like, That's true. we're very, like, we're princess in the pea almost with how we like our pale ales and our whites. Yeah, that's true. You know that's what true. I mean? Like, we're very like, mm, too much of this or not enough of that. You know what I mean? Like, that's true. I think the pale ale was a little too pale. It didn't yeah, have enough going on for and it. And it needed a more of like a more hop yeah. or something. Like it needed more something else. Yeah. But in general, I mean, I think overall Iceland had really good beers. I yeah, was yeah, really was surprised, one. to be honest. Yeah. Because like the photos that you sent me while you were there, I was like, oh, they're all like really like pale looking. <laughs> like they're all probably gonna taste like water. And then like you bring these back and they're all very different pla like flavor profile. They're all very distinctly different from one another. I don't think right. we had one that we're like, mm, tastes like the other one. Right. And they I really all, appreciated that. Like, they were definitely their individual selves. Yes. And I really liked that. It was really good. Mm -hmm. The IPA was really strong, which I liked. I I also wasn't expecting that because I did have some other beers in Iceland that were not as flavor forward in general. Like they uh -huh. didn't have a strong hot presence. They didn't have a strong citrus presence. They didn't have a strong anything Right. in some cases. I mean, in some cases it was like, yes, this is a lager. Kind of like this one where the lager is just a standard lager. But it was good And it though. tastes yeah. just like you'd expect a lager to taste. Right. But the IPA really surprised me because it was it was a strong hot presence, but it but wasn't it all too these much, other and it had these other yeah. yeah. Overall, I'd say it was a good day. It was a yeah. Iceland really blew me away. I've never been there, um, but I think these really gave Iceland a good like thought in my head. And yeah. If you want to stay warm, recommend the IPA. <laughs> yes. Drink that while you're there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and having a drink with us today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon to be notified of our newest upload. And follow us on our socials. Which can be found in the description down below. And always remember to drink responsibly. See you next time.